Hello everyone, Mr. Rosham here, and welcome to my review of the Yak-9. So first off, this plane, in my opinion, is the best to start out with. It's the smallest plane, this helps with dogfighting and AA, it's got a great nose cannon, and it's got multiple bombs for taking out tanks or infantry with. The Yak-9 comes equipped with a 20mm nose cannon, very accurate, great for taking out tanks, you can pick off infantry, and you can shred up enemy planes with it. It also comes with a very potent 12.7 machine gun, good addition to just give you some extra DPS on light tanks and fighting other planes with. As well you get four, four bombs here, they're smaller than the other planes but they can pack a punch if you get a direct hit on any tank. The ammo you get, APCR, this is a standard ammo, you can use this for everything, hunting planes, tanks, and infantry with it, since this plane is very accurate. Or you got a choice of high explosive, which has much less options, you can only hunt infantry and other pilots with that ammo. So now we'll get into the maintenance for this vehicle. Very cheap and manageable, 339 credits per plane spawn and the ammo doesn't really cost that much. I'd say in a typical game, you could spend, say, around 5k credits and end up making 15,000 plus, depending on how well you do in the game. Just always hunt those enemy planes and those enemy tanks. Take them out and then you'll have just a clear advantage for the rest of the game and you can just farm lots of credits with this. I'm going to go over some footage of how I like to play the Yak-9 using APCR as the main ammo and going to be going over a few tips and tricks you can do with this plane, so hope you enjoy. So your first mission as a pilot is dogfighting and the Yak-9 does this very well since the plane is small and it's got that nice laser cannon on it. Always avoid mid-air collisions as no one benefits and try to get into a better position on your enemy. The Yak will have a much better time surviving against trees. Alright, so now we're going to move on to APCR and bombing tanks. So, the preferred method is APCR strafe and then followed up by one bomb. Avoid using two bombs as the bomb radius isn't that much and two bombs can end up missing. Give yourself plenty of room. One strafe, and one bomb, and that's all you need for light tanks. So now on to medium tanks. Never go for the front armor as that's the thickest part. Go for the sides, back, and top. Follow up with a bomb. It might require two strafes. Maneuver your plane the right way to give yourself enough time for a follow-up strafe. If you're a 5, 6, or a 7 on a tank using your bombs, that means that your precision was straight on and you did max damage. If you don't, then just work on your precision and keep at it. So now that we got the tanks out of the way, we're going to go use our bombs on some infantry. If you're going to double bomb, avoid coming in too low as you will most likely miss your target with one of the bombs. Now 
now we're gonna look at how you can snipe infantry on the ground and vehicles and just show off how potent the gun is. Just give yourself plenty of time, line up your cannon to the center, and let it rip. So, out of APCR, out of bombs, doesn't matter. We got an MG can. It's all said and done. The Yak is a very amazing plane. I gotta say, 
just the laser cannon on it, the four bombs. You can fight infantry, you can fight tanks, you can shred up other planes. This is just amazing. I love the Yak. Uh, hope you guys learned something from this video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Have fun in the game, and I will see you next time.